Hey guys, this video will show you how to create a design mock-up so that you can turn your design that looks like this into something that looks like a finished product like this. Now a design mock-up is simply a graphic design tool that allows graphic designers to present their product in a way that looks realistic. So instead of you having to print out your design, set it up, and then take a photograph of it, all you have to do is import your design into a pre-made template that looks like a realistic photograph. So you can see here there are different mock-ups for brochures, for iPads, for books, for posters, and things like that. So that's what we'll be creating today in Photopea. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that your design is totally and 100% finished and that you save your file one last time as a PSD to preserve all of your layers. After you've saved as a PSD, the next thing you'll want to do is export as a PNG. By saving as a PNG, you are now compressing your file down into a flattened image so that uh, it doesn't have all of these layers, but it's simply one flat layer like a photograph. We'll use our, that PNG later after we download our mockup. So the next thing we'll want to do is search for a mockup that fits our design. Now you have to keep in mind that each design has a specific dimension uh, set. So this one right here, I set for eight and a half by five and a half. So that's what uh, dimensions I need to be looking for for a mock-up. I've already found one ready to go on Cover Vault right here. You can see it says five and a half by eight and a half standing paperback book mock-up. Here's what my book cover design will look like, except instead of this photograph, I will have my own design there uh, on, that, on that book cover. I'm gonna go ahead and say download. You can see it's downloading a zip file down here. And we are going to open that in PhotoP. So now you're back in PhotoP, say File, Open. And you'll want to click on the zip file and just open it right up into PhotoP. Once it opens, you'll notice that there are two different files that appear on your screen. This one here with all of these different layers. And then this one here with only one layer. Now the one we'll want to work with is the one with multiple layers. So make sure you have this one selected. Before you go any further in your design, the first thing you'll want to do is rename this file type. So instead of it saying 0925, you'll want it to say something that you can uh, look up for future reference. So to rename this, you just simply double click on the header there this box will appear and you can rename it. I'll name mine book cover mockup and click OK. All right, now you can see my file has been updated. All right, now the next thing you'll want to do is look over here at this top layer. Now this layer here you can see is the cover design. Everything else is the background and things like that, the actual book. But the layer we'll be working with is the, the cover design. If you look right here, there's a tiny black box. Uh, this means that this layer is a smart object. Now a smart object simply means that there are hidden layers within this layer. To reveal those hidden layers that are embedded, you just double click on that box and it shows you the layer that has been embedded. Now a smart object is really nice because it preserves a layer uh, without doing any damage uh, in a different file. So right here is their cover design that you can see that's being used here. So instead of having their file right here, we want to put our own design instead of their mock-up design. So all you have to do now is simply import or click and drag your file, your PNG file, into photo P right here. So you can see my little design is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hide their design so we can work with ours. I'm gonna click on the move tool so I can scale this. I'm gonna click shift so that it doesn't ruin the size. And pull and drag this until it fits perfectly over the template. Okay, now that this is perfectly fit, looks ready to go, 
the last thing you have to do is save this so it converts and saves and connects back over to the book cover mockup. You'll notice this one still has their old design. We just need to connect ours to that book cover mockup. To do this, all you do is say Command S or Control S to save your file. Now it might take a couple seconds or even a minute or so, but just be patient with it, it will save. Try not to click on anything else until a little box appears that says that your file has been updated. Okay, it just said Smart Object Updated. That means that we are ready to come over here. And now you can see that your design has been placed into this book cover mockup. All that you have to do now is if you want to change the background, you can uh, change it to a different color, for example, like this. Uh, and now you just have to save it and present it to your client. You'll want to say File, save as a PSD so that you have all of those layers preserved, and then export it as a PNG or a JPEG. That's all you need to do to put your design into a beautiful mock-up to present to a client.